My name is Richard Meyer, and I'm auditioning for the Science Tellers. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, Henry and Beth made it to the Dragon Keeper's house. They got to the old wooden door, and with Three knocks, it opened slowly with a squeak. <coughs> and standing there, six feet tall, with green skin and white hair, was the dragon keeper. And they said, Please, we, we need the dragon to save our kingdom. And he looked at them with his beady yellow eyes and said, No! And he slammed the door shut. Well, Henry and Beth were defeated and started heading back to the castle. But then they realized... They were the only hope to save the kingdom. So they came up with a plan. They waited for nightfall. Uh, that means it was dark out. And they saw it right there. An open window in the dragon keeper's so they climbed inside and jumped down into the damp and dark hallway, looking for one thing and only one thing, the horn of fire. And as they turned the corner, right there they saw the dragon keeper. He started to chase them and they started to run. And then they found it, the only place to hide it was in the sh shadows. They saw the dragon keeper disappear around the corner. And to this day, they don't know if it was for, was for luck or fate. But Beth put her hand on the wall and a brick slid aside. And the wall split in two. They got up slowly as they were getting older. <laughs> and there in the new room, they found the horn of fire. Did you hear the story about the young lady who got pregnant and then about four months into her pregnancy she had a car wreck, got into a coma? So she's in the hospital asleep and they're feeding her, you know, with the tubes and everything and the babies are growing and finally after the eight and a half months they goes into labor and she delivers the babies still in a coma and it's a little boy a little girl she had twins and so her brother they called him in and he had to name the kids for the birth certificates and a couple months later she wakes up finds out that she has uh, made a complete recovery and she's a proud mother of two little children a boy and a girl and they tell her, well, you know, your your brother had to name them because you were in a coma. She goes, oh, no, what? He's such a trickster. What did he name them? And they say, well, he, he named the little girl Denise. She says, oh, that's not too bad. What's the little boy's name? And he said, the nephew. My name is Richard Meyer, and I'm auditioning for the Science Tellers.